This is the G1000 version 12.00 simulator software for the Cessna Nav 3 for the 182 Cessna, running on my Windows 7 PC purchased online in September 2012. You can see on the MFD the navigation database is current through November 2011. The menu system has significant changes from the older G1000 software. In the past, your map, waypoint, aux, and nearest options were always displayed in the bottom right corner of the MFD. I often referred to them as chapters and pages. For instance, in this case, there were five pages under the waypoint chapter. Knowing which page you were on required you to look at the top of the MFD, which was not terribly convenient. On today's version, you can see there's no evidence of that menu system displayed in the bottom right. The new software hides the menu system, requiring the user to raise them with a turn of the FMS knob, either small or large, in either direction. After a user-defined number of seconds, the menu will disappear again. I have mine currently set to five seconds. An additional twist of the FMS knob will re-raise the menu at the same point where you left off. The large outer knob moves from chapter to chapter, whereas the small inner knob moves up and down from page to page. At any time moving the large knob, you'll jump to the previous chapter as you can see here. As mentioned, the menu times out after the preset period of dormancy. This is set on the AUX chapter under System Setup. In a training scenario, I would suggest having a longer duration to avoid student frustration. However, for the experienced user, a short time frame will likely be more appreciated. To make the change, We'll just click the cursor and use the large outer knob to scroll through all these user settings. And then the small knob will change that second up and down accordingly. In addition to the timeout, the user can define if the first click of the FMS knob simply revives a menu or if it actually engages a change to the menu. I prefer to have it turned off so that my starting point is always where I left off, regardless in which way I turn the small or large FMS knob. But a high familiarity with the menu may lead you to choose otherwise, where the first click would actually make a change in where the cursor is on the menu. Next, notice when we're in the menu system, I'll take my cursor off here, multiple clicks to the right or to the left will take you to the map and nearest uh, accordingly. This is a nice feature because during flight, without even looking, I can reach down to the large FMS knob, turn fully to the right, and know that I'm going to have my nearest section up. And conversely, I could turn it all the way to the left in order to know I'm going to have my map chapter up. Of course, there's always the option, if you're not in the map chapter, of holding down the clear button for several seconds, and that will default you back to the main map page as well. If the G1000 in your aircraft does not have this menu type, your system software is out of date and not in compliance with the Cessna service bulletins. Updating the software is a separate function from updating your waypoint and chart databases.